Okay. We just came from Walmart where we ordered two of these uh, Roadmaster bicycles here from Walmart and they was $98 a piece. And um, I'm getting a shot of it so you can see what it looks like. And we're going to make us a quadricycle using these. Now over here I got this little electric bike and we ma I made a um, a little sidecar for it as you can see right there and it works pretty good but my wife was wanting something a little bit bigger and I of course I want to keep it a electric and all so I don't want to have a four-wheeler running around pumping gas out into the world while we're out playing around with it and so we're going to build this um, little quadricycle so I've taken the first bike as you can see there's the forks for the front of it and uh, then here's the the back now what I went and done I went to uh, Home Depot and I bought this pipe here now this pipe was I don't know I spent eighty three dollars and I bought ten sticks of uh, half inch EMT which I'm going to use as you can see right there and I bought four uh, pieces of this top rail fencing from uh, Home Depot and uh, the drive out on them too was about $83 now this I didn't know at the time when I started figuring this out but that pipe worked perfect where the you can see uh, it worked perfect and then I'm gonna just weld it around here on both sides and I'm gonna weld to it I'll uh, do some more videos as time goes on and add more to this so you can see that uh, uh, now I'm not going to use this I've already got the the wheel for that one over there uh, I'm going to use it to try this with it's a thousand uh, watts and uh, that bike is 500 watts is all and so it pulls me and her pretty good on it with with 1500 watts so I'll probably end up ordering another uh, another motor for this one so I can have 2000 watts on it and those are with the um, inside the wheel motor you know hub motors I think they call but yeah there there it is and I just fix it and uh, I'm thinking that's about as wide as it's going to be. I cut that pipe off to uh, four feet. And so it's going to come out where I'm going to have it even with that uh, back of that uh, wheel back there on the outside of it. And then when I uh, make the cart, it'll, it'll look like it's supposed to look. Because I'm going to hopefully close it in and everything. So we'll see uh, and that's about it for right now so stay tuned all right here I am again working on it this bicycle to a quad <laughs> and um, I got a little bit done since yesterday I got exactly I think four feet across all the way and then I put uh, up here on the front, I had to indent that in because of the way the wheels are going to be turning. And see where I had cut off the, the pipes on the frame of the bicycle, which gives me something to stick these top rails into, which incidentally they work perfect. And weld them on there. And that metal is a piece of uh, what was left from an old uh, bed frame that I had here. So, and as you can see, the, <clears throat> the R is turned to the side, uh, but it's facing in the right direction where it's uh, supposed to be there. So this part here uh, goes on the front, and uh, I just turned it. So it would work on there like that. 
and uh, anyway it's moving the bride along and mostly having to do the uh, thing with the level here because so many um, unforeseen things are going on uh, and that welding I got my welder cut down to let's see 60 right now and really got to watch it on that it won't hardly burn the rods at 40 but on 60 if you don't watch out it burns right through it's real thin metal now I had this other uh, Lincoln welder which is supposed to be a MIG pack here and I tried it and it just burned it up so I couldn't get it adjusted right so I got the other one out and trying with it and all I'm going to do here is come forward uh, a little bit more this is a piece of a frame that I had left over from when I bought that bike it came on the angle iron frame bolted on and I'm just using it adding and cutting and adding to it and then this old bed frame like I said I'm using that and these top rails for the um, sides and I've got two pieces cut for the inside there but we're moving right along so all right got a little bit more work done here today and uh, as you can see now I made this thing maybe a little bit bigger than I should have <laughs> my wife came out a while ago and she said it looked like it's about as big as a car now uh, well there's the height where the seat is going to be of course that's not it I'm just using that and uh, I've got all that stuff welded in there um, now the total width as I said from side to side there is about four feet I could have made it maybe six inches smaller uh, or so but when you sit up here in the seat as far as having uh, room for your feet when this gets done I had to leave enough for them 26 inch tires right there and so what this was brought in now if all that was brought in then I would have had to bring this in further here that one I seen on the internet a cute little thing but it was only a one passenger because even here I got um, on the inside there I came in 10 inches on each side and so I had 48 and you take 20 off of that 10 on each side uh, so the, the, the tires would turn and right there now I just did that temporarily so they'll turn a, a little bit more than that uh, I got to make a, a, a right kind of thing for it but that was just so I could move this thing around when I got it done but uh, yeah you got to have the room to, for the tires to turn in there and if you make it where you don't have any room over there then you're not going to be able to turn it much and so I'm making it where I can use this thing now I thought that's one railing down there would have been enough but when I sit down in it my my uh, knees was almost up to my ears because it was so <laughs> low down there and not only that I could only see from here I could just barely see a, above the top of this so I knew I was going to have to uh, raise the seat a little bit but I got the center of gravity down low so whenever I'm out there not that I'm going to be speeding or anything but uh, it's um, I use three uh, two blinds underneath there so that's right at five inches up underneath it what the ground clearance is going to be about five inches so 
uh, I'm not planning on going out in the woods and rock crawling and all that kind of stuff. Just riding around in the neighborhood and uh, whatever. So there it is. And uh, that's kind of what the shape of it's going to be as, uh, as it goes on. Maybe I will drop it down somewhat later, I don't know. But right now I'm going to uh, be leaving this thing like it is. So I'll be adding some more. I ran out of my uh, cutting blades and grinding blades and all this other stuff. So I got to knock off and get some parts. Okay, as you can see, the machine isn't sitting there any longer. I worked on it a little bit after I went and got the parts I needed, the cutoff disc, and uh, I shoved it outside out the way so I can try to clean up my garage a little bit. And uh, as you can see uh, from the video now, I didn't like the height of it. Now let me back up some. Okay. So I dropped it down on the height. Now I got it down to 54 inches uh, from the ground to the top here. And I'm gonna, I went to Walmart, I'll bring one of them seats here. And I, I got some seats while I was down there. And um, I'm gonna put them on top of them rails I've got right there. And just set it in there where it, where it goes. Those are, uh, I think they call them stadium seats. But uh, there you go. I got two of them for it right there. That uh, they'll sit right on there. Go ahead, sit down on it. Well, as you can see, it's plenty high enough, so pretty much like I'm wanting it, and it's sturdy now. Okay, so I'll be doing some more uh, videos here as I get some more of it finished. As you can see, I've used all but the pieces on the inside of the uh, bicycle but the, everything else that came with it. Well, I didn't use the, the gears because it's going to be electric. Not even thinking about putting no chain on it. But that's for people that want to do it. I'm, uh, my wife is 75 and I'm 76 years old. And my days of pedaling bicycles are just about finished, I think. So. I'm going to have it with electric motors on it, like our electric car sitting right there, a Chevy Bolt. But uh, yeah, so I'm happy with it now, as the height and everything. So praise the Lord. Okay, I was going to do a little bit of an update here from where I'm at with this thing right now. I put these sides on here, but I don't think I like them on there like that. I just shot that with paint to see how it was going to do. Went up to Menards and bought this uh, plastic material, Plastex, I think what it's called. And as you can see, you can cut it with a scissors or a knife or utility knife or whatever. And um, I pretty much fixed that back like a little pickup truck looking thing. And so Right now, I think I'm going to pull these sides off because I really don't like Okay, so now I took that one side off and I put this little fender thing here on. I think I like that better. It shows more of the cycle and such because I didn't want it to 
not have the cycle part. As you can see, I'm putting that same material stuff on the roof of it. And I put glue up underneath the sides before I rolled them over and held them a bit. And then I went on and pop riveted them on as well. And so, moving right along. And so, uh, we'll be done with this thing probably in the next 20 years. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that little fender ain't the best in the West, but I didn't have to buy a fender. And uh, I bought this piece of trim that goes with the uh, material, that fast tech material I bought from Menards. And uh, you can see where I pulled that panel off, got it laying there. And the other side is still on. I still got to finish it, but moving right along. I got my batteries in here just a while ago, so it won't be long before I'll be hooking them up. I got four uh, of these wheats or wince, wetsy or whatever, uh, 20 amp hour batteries um, off of Amazon. They come pretty quick. They all come in one box. UPS come walking up with this box like he had nothing in his hand and it was pretty heavy. <laughs> but whatever. He's probably not nearly the age that I am. But anyhow, on to bigger and better things. Okay, I'm doing a little more work here. Uh, I ordered a steering thing because that steering mechanism there that I tried to make. Uh, it works, but I really don't like the way it works, so I was ordered another one for it. I'm working on the brakes right now. I'm going to use the brakes that was on the bicycle to begin with, and that'll give me four-wheel uh, brakes on that part. Now over here, <coughs> I took the... Uh, okay. I took the uh, brake levers and I took one of the handlebars, as you can see right here, I took a piece of it, cut it off, bolted it onto there, and these are the two uh, uh, motors that come with the, with the kit. And these are the uh, four hand brakes that came with the kit. And uh, I took a piece of pipe there from the uh, handlebars and um, I cut it and made it to go down in and then I bolted it onto this piece of angle iron right here as you can see each one of them uh, see if I can get it where you can see it right there like that and so all I have to do now is hook up my brake cable and when I push it see here I'll have all four uh, brakes doing at the same time then I've got two motors that I bought off of eBay at right at $200 a piece one of them I had on that other little cart and I took it off and bought another one to put on this one here and so as you can see it works fine now what I did up underneath, you can see here, is I put this metal plate, which was part of that bed frame thing, that iron off of it, and there's the plastic for the handles, and I drilled through it all, and I put this plate behind it, and it makes it real sturdy. And I've done the same thing with these. So, we'll see how this all works. Now, so I made this board where I could take that stuff out and work on it, as you can see right there. Just set it right down in there. And uh, I screw it down as time goes on here. But there's my brake pedal and uh, accelerator pedal. And uh, see here. 
And there's my accelerator. <laughs> Which is going to be pretty neat now, I think. Uh, just like I said, these are all part of that bed frame. Uh, see? And I'll be able to reach there with my foot if I want to turn them on and off. But I've already got a key for it, so I'll probably just turn them on and leave them on if they'll stay on. And won't probably do nothing else with it. And if I need to adjust them, I can get right to it and adjust them there. And there's the brake pedal. And there's the accelerator pedal. So I think it's going to work out fine. So on the bigger and better things. That's a little steering wheel I bought. Put on there and I welded and put a big washer on the steering wheel. Okay. Finally got this thing done here. I went on and put disc brakes on the... Okay. I went on and put... Uh, disc brakes back here on the back and I had to make a little bracket thing for them to go on there as you can see it works and I went and <clears throat> I've got a spare bicycle rim that I can carry on here and got the back of it all finished and all done now and uh, ooh, Okay, as you can see, it looks like a little truck, so um, I got, let me turn the lights on and here, horn works, and uh, let's see, turn signals, uh, And my lights are working, so got it all done. Now let me turn this stuff off. What? I got that a while ago. I'm gonna be standing by it. You'll be standing by it. Okay. Let's see if I can get you in it. Okay. That's you in it now. Okay. Go ahead and get behind the wheel. Let people see how you are. Oh, let me, let me see this a minute. See down here? I've got, well, uh, I've got uh, four of them thumb things down there and the same way with my brakes for uh, the brakes down here which you probably couldn't see too well because it's kind of dark in there mm -hmm. and I got these two seats from like I said from Walmart go ahead get in there I put these horns on the side And got us a little steering wheel and went and bought a regular steering and put in there. As you can see, it had to have a good size turn, huh? And I have a little thing to hold me in over here on the side. Right. And that's the, we just came back from the thing riding. And she's got a strap that goes across over there so we'll hold her in. And it does about 20, maybe 25 miles an hour. Uh, I bought this uh, little bicycle um, thing here, but it don't half work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. And, uh, oh, I see why it didn't this time, because it's turned down there. I don't know how that happened. But... Uh, and we got this here, we'll have another video on that in a little while. We'll get done with this first. And um, it's all done. I've got four of them 1,000 watt motors on here. One on each wheel, so I guess you could say it's a four wheel drive. 
<laughs> but uh, it comes up our driveway pretty good now. And it's, those uh, hills too? And it goes up and down the hills pretty good here. Now, we, it wasn't made to get out in the woods and stuff and run on that. We just got it to ride around in our neighborhood with. And uh, I got a little frunk up here in the front, uh, which you can use to carry stuff in. I made this window. This is a screen door that I had, uh, a glass door that I had on the front of the house, and the glass got broken. Anyway, we just recently bought a new uh, door, and so I had this glass thing left. I went and had some plexiglass made at Ace, and uh, I was able to make that one on the front. And, you got a and then this uh, window here in the back, so, as you can see, and it's got lots of room, as you can see, it's a big enough for that 26 inch tire back there, and some, and so, the holes in the side is where I had the other brakes on it, now I'm just going to push it something over it, that was one of the things I didn't like, because them things had to stick out over there, and, um, but we love it, that's it, it's, Finally done. So oh, I tried. I tried to do a reverse on it, and uh, I I can reverse the motors and all, but um, that's no problem. When I put a switch on it, uh, the I burned up one of them little switches with the um, the um, little points in them. They're not they're not strong enough to to do. I, came back over here so you can get a picture of it. We started out with uh, two bicycles that we bought from Walmart, $98 a piece of Roadmaster bikes. But uh, if you're going to do one like this, I can tell you them bicycle wheels are not strong enough because as soon as I went to make a turn, one of the bicycle whims just bent almost in half. And so... <laughs> And then I bought two of these motors off of eBay. And then I found them a little bit cheaper on Walmart. But when I got them, the, the uh, spokes were so loose in them that the wheel would flop around. So I had to tighten up all the, <laughs> all the spokes on the two I got from Walmart. The ones I got off eBay was nothing. Also, they came, the ones that came up from Walmart didn't have five pounds of air in the tires. And I had to air them up and uh, all that. But other than that, yeah, we got us probably the only electric, all electric, that is to say, uh, pickup truck in the neighborhood. <laughs> and we can go, and uh, when we're out there, we can put a cooler back here and have yeah. sandwiches and drinks if we want them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else you need to say before we do? No, I love it. Now, I, this material here, I bought that um, stuff from uh, Menards. I think it goes in a bathroom. I don't know, but I put that on here, and then I used it on the sides because it was much lighter. And, and see here, I bent it over the bench for my front there, and it worked pretty good. And as you can see, I, I don't need fenders because I got a completely closed in wheel well there and the same way back here so it didn't need fenders now I had fenders on here but I didn't like the looks of them so I took them off and we bought this uh, pipe wrap to put over the, the metal to make it uh, where somebody wouldn't hurt themselves on it and uh, anyway it's charging away and that's it. And so, we love it. And my husband knows how to do everything. I'm <laughs> telling you. Yeah, right. Praise the Lord. All right. So I hope you like it. Thank you. Oh, um, pricing, well, it might, it might seem like it didn't cost much to you, but I, each one of them wheels was well over $200. So there's four of them on there. And that's, so that's... Well over eight hundred dollars just for the wheels with the hub motors on them. 
uh, two motors won't pull it because not with me and my wife in it and the weight of the vehicle. Now, if you get out on the flat and you're, you're rolling, you can turn off two of the switches and it'll run pretty good. But if you're going to go up a hill, it's not going to go up a hill very well with two motors. So it needs to have the four. And really wasn't nothing to wiring them because <laughs> it's pretty simple. Well, and uh, and to make reverse on them, you can make all of them reverse, but you have to change the wire. Now I went and bought uh, off of eBay. I bought uh, four um, solenoids, and I tried that with a on and off switch. Now I let's see if I got that other switch in here. I don't know where I put it. Anyway. I bought one of them that's off of eBay that was supposed to be for these, and it wouldn't work either. And it was only like $13 or $14, but $13 or $14 for us. Here it is. No, that's another one. Cause you see that little one, it won't hold the, the power to turn the power on and off. You have to have one of them big ones like you use on the boat. And uh, it has to be mounted kind of close to the batteries. So I, I got a dash full of holes up there now, and I ended up putting it down underneath there so I can turn the power off. Right now I got it left on because when I turn the power off, it doesn't, the way I got it set up to charge, it's not going to charge as well. And there's nothing uh, draining the battery when it's charging like that, but anyway. That's it. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you.